Hey guys, it's Woody. Um, I just want to make a video real quick. Um, about my day. You know, as you can see, it's been emotional. But um, it hasn't been a bad day by any means. The drive was great. Um, I actually had a lot on my mind that I uh, reflected on. Um, but I, w I want to post this video for people who have or who are in my position. Uh, something that has been going on with me for a few years. Uh, about, let's see, seven years ago, my ex-wife came to me uh, with a proposition of her husband adopting my son and at the time I was like absolutely not um, you know and we fought and battled for a long time and in my head, all I could think was, she's gonna take him from me. She's trying to take him from me. That's all I was thinking. Um, you know, and she dropped it, she let it go. And two years ago, um, two years ago I got married and for our honeymoon my wife suggested that we go and visit my son um, we could have gone other places you know but uh, So we went and visited my son, and after we dropped him back off, my ex-wife texted me, said that they were going to the water park the next day, and wanted to see if we would come along with them and make it a family event. Um, so, of course, I was like, yeah. And, um, so we went, and, <laughs> um, my ex-wife and I were sitting there watching my new wife play with her kids, with my ex-wife's kid, and, um... You know, we're just standing there, and um, she kind of, she kind of, you know, leaned over and was like, "I like her." And she said, 
She said, I like her more than I like you. And I said, yeah, me too. <laughs> um, I can accept that. You know, she's a good woman. Um, man, I look horrible when I'm emotional. Um, anyway, so later that night, we're, we're sitting outside and we're talking and my ex-wife brings up a serious question and she asked me if something were to happen to her, what would she want or what would I want to be done with Evan, with my son? Um, and I said, well, I don't want to take him away from this. I mean, he's got a family. He's been going to all the good schools. He lives in a good neighborhood. He's got a good life. You know, and I don't want to take him from that. And uh, she told me, she's like, you know, there's only one way for that to happen. So I thought about it and my wife and I talked about it and I talked to my dad about it. I talked to my mom about it. And uh, so I made a decision And today, it was finalized. And, uh, you know, like I said, it, it's been a good day. It hasn't been easy. But, uh, you know, My son's happy and you know that's that's what matters and to anybody anybody mom dad whatever anybody who is going through the the battles of you know the baby mama drama or whatever <clears throat> put that stuff aside drop your pride and think about the kid you know um through this thing like I said for seven years my son's almost 13 years old right now <laughs> he's about to be a teenager um, and you know I I've done the best that I can um, and she's not taking him from me She's never tried to keep him from me. She's never done that. Um, and, you know, maybe I'm just lucky that way, blessed, whatever you want to call it. Um, but she's never done that. And I always feared it. It was always in the back of my mind uh, but that's not the kind of person that she is. Uh, you know, but if you're going through something like this, you got to think about your child. 
what's going to make them happy, what's going to keep them healthy. You know, my son, like I said, he's been going to the best schools. He's lived in good neighborhoods. He's got a family. He's got brothers. He's got a sister. He's happy. And uh, I can't take that from him. You know, I've, I've had girlfriends in the past that have told me I should fight for custody and that was always the first thing that I thought about. I can't give him what he has. If I can't give him what he has or better, I don't need to be fighting for custody. That doesn't make sense for him. You know, even when I was wrapped up in the fact or the, the notion that she might take him from me or she might keep him from me or, you know, and, and that whole scenario, I could never give him what he has right now. And if I can't give him that, why take it away from him? That's selfish. So what I've got right now is a son who's happy. And who still loves me. I've got a wife with the heart of gold. Who loves me in spite of myself. I've got an ex-wife who's still a friend. I mean, we've been friends since high school. I mean, she <laughs> she's probably, yeah, she's the oldest friend that I've got. She's been my, I've known her consistently longer than anybody I've ever known. And that was before I even, we even had a baby. And, um, so yeah, I know this video has nothing at all to do with trucking, but, um, the message behind it is important. You know, and yeah, I've been crying, um, I don't care. But you gotta drop your pride, drop your ego. Think about the bigger picture. You know, I've got all the support in the world. I didn't make this decision lightly. It wasn't just a spur of the moment thing. Like I said, seven years. Seven years this has been going on. This battle in my head. <laughs> and all I was worried about was uh, me. What people would think of me. Um, and how I'd feel about myself. What my son would think. And you know, what my son thinks is important to me. But one day he'll realize that what I did was for his benefit. Because it certainly wasn't for mine.
anyway, I hope you got the message.